Taylor with you alongside Don Richmond. Well, this one turned into a wild one tonight here at the or at Royal LePage Place, and it was the Warriors that uh, fell 2-1 to one in overtime, and things started 2-11 into the hockey game. Don, it's Ryan McPherson that gives the Visa 1-0 lead. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a, mi a miscue uh, in the defensive zone, and uh, just let, just over two minutes in, uh, the, the V's had their one goal lead. And basically, that's so unfortunate because that really dictated the rest of the game. Yeah, and it was the V's that tried to come with pressure after that. And I thought the Warriors had some good sequences. There's a big hit by Jack Farrell through center. I thought Farrell had a really strong night tonight for West Kelowna. And, you know, you look at chances toward the front of the net. Appleby doing a good job to keep that puck out. Sean Cohane to the front of the goal. And Will Ingeman, we talked about it throughout the course of the night. He was almost unbeatable. The Warriors got him late, obviously. But Ingeman had a really strong game in the V's goal, too. And right. he was able to make a couple of saves, including this one on Kincaren Humble. I thought Kincaren Humble played well tonight, too. Yeah, I thought that there were a lot of positives for the Warriors throughout the night. But Will Ingeman, again, continuing to make big saves at the front of the goal. Warriors putting pucks toward him. And he just does a great job of not relinquishing much when it comes to the front of the net and keeping pucks that are right in front of him. And Rourke Appleby doing the same thing. Appleby was strong in this hockey game tonight as well as he was able to keep that one out and keep the game one to nothing at that point. The Warriors getting an end wall bounce. Felix Caron trying to jam the puck in. The Warriors putting pucks from the blue line. This is that scramble late in the second period. Jackson Kierkostas tried to throw it to the net wow, and yeah. Ingeman came across and made a great save on the blocker side. More pressure from the Warriors in front. This was in the third period with some good looks toward the front of the goal. Appleby, again, had to be solid. He had to be dialed in, and he was. He made some really good saves in this hockey game. Vigo Nordstrom with a great chance, and then followed up with a try there toward the side of the net that just went off of the side of the goal. And the Warriors continuing the press, but just unable to find that equalizing goal. And the game remained 2-1 to one into its late stages of this hockey game with Will Ingeman continuing to make very strong saves as the Warriors pressed and put everything they could toward the front of the goal. Just were not able to bury anything past Ingeman with pucks popping in the air. Six on five attacks for the Warriors that had pressure toward the front of the net. Ingeman continued to stand tall before the Warriors were able to get on the board. 7.3 seconds to go and it's Jack Prittman on a one-timer. And that was a great one-timer, and it's good, good for Jack as, as well. Uh, uh, disappointing in how the game ended, but uh, how exciting it was to take uh, to take this game to overtime. So Pridham gets the goal as 19th of the year. Bedlam at Royal LePage place on the marker by Pridham. Jackson Kierkostas and Sean Cohane draw the assist on the goal. That makes it a 1-1 hockey game. And into overtime we go, and the best chance to score a goal for the Warriors came in that way of Felix Caron before the V's come back the other way. A scramble in the crease and that puck loose on the glove side and it's Francisco Delelce who finishes it off and wins the game in overtime for Penticton. The V's win 2-1. to one. The Warriors finding different ways to lose games in overtime with all sorts of scrambles at the front of the net and it's Delelce against the tired line for the Warriors that finishes it off and an instant classic between these two teams. It's the V's that win 2-1 to one in overtime.